Ukrainian forces have launched a significant cross-border operation into Russia's Kursk region, igniting fierce battles and triggering emergency evacuations. As Russian troops scramble to repel the advance, President Vladimir Putin has denounced the attack as a provocation, signaling a potential escalation in the ongoing conflict. The current situation requires a certain amount of courage and composure in solving these complex, difficult, extraordinary tasks that now face all branches and all levels of government. As per reports, Ukrainian troops penetrated as far as 15 kilometers into Russian territory, though Kyiv has yet to provide details on the operation. In response to the incursion, residents are fleeing border areas. Many have been relocated to temporary shelters in the Bryansk and Oryol regions. Alexei Smirnov, Kursk's acting governor, announced an urgent appeal for blood donations as local hospitals prepare for potential casualties. As fighting continues in Kursk, Putin has ordered a comprehensive response, including immediate aid to those affected. He urged local officials to assess the damage swiftly and ensure that residents receive the support they need. Let's assume that the decision on a one-time payment of 10,000 rubles to citizens who need it has been made and the necessary resources will be allocated. In addition, other damage will need to be assessed. Please, together with colleagues from various departments, including the Ministry of Emergency Situations, this work will need to be done. The European Union quickly weighed in, defending Ukraine's actions as part of its legitimate right to self-defense. Peter Stano, a spokesperson for the European Commission, stated that Ukraine is within its rights to strike the enemy wherever necessary, reinforcing the bloc's support for Kyiv. We think that uh, Ukraine is fighting a legitimate defensive war against an illegal aggression. And in the framework of this legitimate right to defend itself, Ukraine is entitled to hit the enemy wherever it finds necessary on its territory, but also on the territory of the enemy. Meanwhile, the US has also signaled its continued backing of Ukraine. Deputy Pentagon Press Secretary Sabrina Singh clarified that the incursion does not violate US policy on Ukraine's use of American-supplied weapons, highlighting Washington's commitment to Kyiv. It is consistent with our policy, um, and we have supported Ukraine from the very beginning to defend themselves against um, attacks that are coming across the border and for the need for crossfires. Um, so they are taking actions to protect themselves from attacks that are coming from a region that are within the U.S. policy of where they can operate um, you know, our weapons, our systems, our capabilities. With the situation still unfolding, the Kursk incursion may represent a pivotal moment in the conflict. Russia's stance remains firm, with President Putin vowing to protect the country's borders and provide aid to those affected.